going to be a great thing for the for the family. We're excited and uh, we're ready to make a Christmas miracle happen. We're ready to get it on and get it going. We're so excited about helping the Riggins family get this new home for Christmas and putting all the resources of our company and all of our trade and vendors and friends to rally behind this effort and put it together for this family, which is very, very deserving. I think the biggest challenge has been taken care of because we've really, these gentlemen around me have really spent a lot of time investing time and effort into planning this out. Uh, we've got a group of extremely motivated contractors and suppliers that are here to make this thing happen. The biggest challenge is for for us to live up as leaders to make sure that we provide what our folks need to get through. They're gonna make it happen, we just gotta make sure they have the support they need. The biggest challenge I think we've had is trying to keep a secret for a month. <laughs> you know, we, we invite and elicit a lot of support from the community, our vendor base, and we try to tell them as, as what we can about the project, but trying to keep it secret so the family's surprised at the end of the day uh, is a big challenge, but we've got a great team of people here. And you know what we've talked about, what we've learned through this process, and, and the producers helped us with this is vertical building, and this is where we're putting uh, multiple subs in the house at one time. And that's the biggest change for all of us is having the plumbers and electricians and the HVAC people in there at the same time, stepping on top of each other. And uh, our job is to be uh, is, is is coordinating that and making sure everybody's uh, happy and getting along and, and moving fast through the house. And we feel very confident to be able to make that happen. The city has been tremendous in helping us out through the permitting process. They've committed to having somebody out here 24 hours a day through the build. So we will be constantly having someone on site to help us all the way through the process so there will not be a problem passing the inspections uh, in a timely fashion. The next two days uh, at different points we're going to be staging materials and, and trucks and getting everything in place. I mean it's the whole coordination thing being ready to rock. And then um, and then uh, Saturday, uh, when, when given the go, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start the demolition and start the ball rolling. And everything is, everything is staged and ready to go. It's going to happen in an in 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 organized fashion. And uh, mm -hmm. when we run into obstacles, we'll just overcome them. But uh, it's, a lot of it's coordination. And there's certain areas where you get into a house and any, any construction build where you can make up time. And once you get it under roof and you get out of the elements of the weather, we were able to put more people, more resources, or multiple crews into a house to try to catch up on time. You need to get a hold of Lux Stone mm -hmm. and get somebody up there to get you those eight, eight those pieces, samples. about eight pieces of stone. First of all, it's just a tremendous, tremendous cause, and we we're so excited to be able to help make dreams come through for this family and come true for this family. We as a company try to uh, do that for all of our home builders, and this is just an, an extra special opportunity for a, a lady, a family who truly just gives to the community, puts herself aside, puts her family aside, and just helps people constantly. And the little bit that we can do to help her life, hopefully we'll just help her continue in that mission. Yeah, I've been building a long time, so we're doing something free for a good family. We're working on the community center behind us here. I don't know if we've got films of that yet, but we're working on the community center that the homeowners dedicate a lot of their life to. They work there, they minister there, their kids go there. So we're really trying to help the community center out give them something on the side that they can go to when they're not in their new house. It functions as, as, as a community center, it functions as a ministry and an elementary school through the week. And uh, because she's such a part of the school and of the community center, we decided to make that part of the project. And of course, we're gonna go in and, and do some exciting things, re-roof the thing, we're gonna go paint it on the outside, do some landscaping. Uh, there's an auditorium on the inside that we're gonna go in and. Uh, uh, paint and remodel and carpet and stuff like that and then we're doing uh, the kitchen remodeling the kitchen and cafeteria in there so we picked a few spots that uh, they use quite often and it's an exciting project we're gonna go in there and just give it a, a facelift make it really look really look nice I was raised in the house the I sold it to build a ministry in London and uh, I got some uh, memories there my mother passed away 19 years ago there, and uh, that's one of the reasons it's so sentimental to me. So it's, it's a beautiful thing that y'all are doing to the, to the neighborhood and the house. I'm tickled to death with, with, with what's happening, but I hate to see it tore down.
ABC Extreme Makeover folks have pulled up in front of our family that we've adopted at Home Life, the Riggins family from Raleigh, and we are preparing to build them a new house and give them a Christmas miracle. That is awesome. Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. I mean, it's, it's sad at first, but that always, ha you know, so, so happy. And I didn't know that they were coming to Raleigh. I'm so excited. Well, it's been, uh, you know, it, we, we're honored that they've selected us out of all the fine builders that are in Raleigh, North Carolina to do this. I mean, I don't, I can't really think. <laughs> oh my God. But I, you don't want me to I trust home life communities. place in the world to live and, and I want to tell you home life communities you know part of our our heart and our feeling is to give back to the community our uh, our owner John Bean uh, puts a lot of heart not only into what we do as a business but what we do and what we give back and uh, when we were given the honor to come in and, and, and build a home for the Riggins family and bring this Christmas miracle that they truly deserve it really hit us right here, and I got to tell you, I'm surrounded by heroes. These folks are ready to come in and make it happen. Awesome. Absolutely. Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everyone, we're, we're not here to just build a house. This is a symphony, a symphony of love and kindness to bring a Christmas miracle to folks that truly deserve it. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank ABC, thank Raleigh, North Carolina, and I want to say my blessings go to the Riggins family because we're here to make it happen for them. So, Jen, did we get approval from the booth? Yeah, it was great. Yay! 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 We got approval from the booth! <laughs> right now 
take all the debris, stick it in the trucks, hauling it off. So we can pour the foundation later. Uh, this building has a lot of leaks, and we're trying to get a good quality roof so the, the other trades can redo the inside of the building and they won't have to worry about any water or anything like that ruining all the new stuff. Between all our companies we have probably 40, 40 roofers right here and uh, probably I think about 10, 10 of our sheet metal installers that put new metal downspouts and coping cap, metal perimeter around the building. Actually went and drove around the neighborhood and they found several houses here with a, with a nice uh, design that they liked so the front of the house is going to look like it belongs to this neighborhood. It's not going to be one of those giant mansions that don't look like they fit. So that was really nice. They had some really great designers. Yes, volunteers work six hour shifts. Some of our construction people are working 20 on, four off. So I'll be here for about 20 hours today, unless I collapse. And then it'll be, then it'll be less. Home Life Communities is not building this house. All these plumbers, all these roofers, all these framers that, that work for us, they've donated everything. Those are the guys that are building the house, and they're the real heroes, and we love them. We love you guys too. So, if you guys are watching, these people are from Raleigh, and they love what you're doing. Let them know what you're doing. We're done demoing the house. We're about an hour and a half ahead of schedule. So, uh, but we're not gonna get cocky. <laughs> we are on schedule, yes. We've already started the light TPO membrane now. We've got all the insulation down. We started to lay the top layer and then they'll put all the screws and plates in that. We were approached, um, the president of our company was approached and he started sending emails to everybody to explain what was going on and that we had the opportunity to help out and who wanted to donate our time and coordinate everything. And we were just, everybody was real excited about it. So we've been involved on the planning part for about a month. And then once the announcements, we got here about 12 o'clock today. So we're excited to be here. It's a great call. This roof system right here, probably if, if, if Miss Linda were to pay for it, probably about $60,000. So that's the type of donation that we're giving back to her. So it uh, makes you feel good to do something nice for people. We started at about 3.30. Here, here it is two hours later. Uh, probably in another hour we'll probably have the membrane down and then we've got to run some perimeter, perimeter metal and do some of the flashing details. I'm anticipating probably coming off of here about 9 10 o'clock. Usually a job like this without 40 people on the roof would probably take about three days, maybe four, three and a half. So it's fun to see what you can do and how quick you can do it. We are probably a half a day ahead of schedule. And we hope to finish a day early. We're doing all the painting inside, all the painting outside. Well, I say we. It's not just my company. It's a conglomeration of about four or five companies that we've talked to and got to come together. And it looks like we're going to be here a good portion of the night to stay ahead of schedule. We're prepping the slab right now, trying to get the crushing run down, get some good compacts on the soil. We got engineers out here checking the soil, make sure we got good. Emma. Make sure we got good soil here so we can put a good foundation for these people. Hold it the same okay. time before you do any work. Then 15 minutes out, we'll All be ready right, for the wash. We'll probably come back when it's daylight, give everything a good going over, walk the job, make sure everything's okay. But even though we do have some good lights up here right now, um, still can't see quite like it is in daytime, you know. We can't raise the height of the wall at all. Okay. So when we raise this up, we want to make sure we got a decent grade over there for access. So we're going to cut that down a little bit. We just want to make sure our footing's steep enough to be below 12 inches below the final grade. Right now we're about an hour behind our schedule on paper, but we feel we're still on schedule because we were delayed getting started by an hour today due to uh, some of the shooting by the film crew this morning. So having, you know, we're feeling pretty good about where we're at and where we're going to be. I've been here. close to 24 hours. I gotta come back here. I'll be leaving about 2.30, get about a two hour nap, and then uh, be back at it. So, make sure we catch it up.
going to war or building a house? Yeah, that was this this war. Huh? It was war last night, I'll tell you that. It's Sunday morning, sun's coming up. We're setting panels back up behind you, getting ready to run them up. The carpenters are ready to go. We're getting the grading done. We're right about on schedule, and we're ready to put this thing up in the air. These guys have been hitting it hard this morning. They got here, the pressure washers were here early at 6 a.m. They've been hitting the building. We're doing well. These guys are right on schedule, an hour behind them, so scheduling is great. We're actually ahead of schedule. We took all the landscaping out yesterday, took the railing and stuff off. We're putting uh, some nice brick and stucco planters to match the building. We're going to come up about two feet above the rail, above the, uh, the ramp there, and then we're going to put some nice black railing that's coming in, uh, tomorrow. We dress it out, paint it, and it'll match the building here. So it's really going to dress it up, give it a more modern look. We've got the base, almost all the first four walls set, panels set. We're finishing up the interior walls. We're getting ready to stage our floor trusses in, in the back and getting ready to start laying those. And as soon as we get those set, we'll be staging the windows and getting those things going as well. So right now we've caught up and I think we're right, all, we're right where we need to be. And uh, we're in good shape because we got to try to hustle through this, get the roof on and shingle and everything because it's supposed to rain tonight. When did they change that? What? The weather today. It gets I saw it for the first time this morning, showers. There's a part out on the out off the coast. It made like the last week. It made come done. Where to put all these windows in this house? We're gonna knock these windows out. Get, 20 this, minutes. get this house done in record time. kept changing the plans, not changing the plans, but there were some design issues and trying to figure out what we were going to do and how we are going to make the roof system work. And uh, when you do that, a lot of different plans are generated and different beams are in and they change and it just was a crossover. We had 18 inch LVLs on one plan and the final set had nine and a quarter that um, didn't have the final engineer stamp on it. So we called the engineer. He said everything calked out and the loads were fine and he's sealing it and writing us uh, three letters on the three locations and everything's good to go. But uh, the inspector, I was the one who caught it. That was great. He was out ahead of it. So uh, when we go to the frame inspection, we'll present the letters to him and it won't be a hold up at all. I was so tired last night when I got to the hotel, there was a fire in the lobby and I had mud everywhere. I was dirty. I went in and sat by the fire and woke up two hours later still sitting in the chair. We're rolling, we're rolling. We got concrete down this morning, caught up from the time we were behind, from the late start from the demolition, and uh, we're right on schedule now. We're gonna get trades in here in about, uh, probably about another 30 minutes on the first floor. We had a little bit of making up to do over tonight, and, uh, Concrete didn't set up as fast as we thought it was going to, but uh, we did all right. We got on it just in the nick of time to get our panel set. We've made up some time in the framing. Good news, as long as the weatherman's right, well, it sounds like the weather's going to stay to our east, but we're still chopping it pretty good, getting the roof under uh, sooner than what we expected. <clears throat> right now, we got our mechanics are downstairs working. We're setting windows on the first floor. Framers are upstairs and we're setting trusses on the top. So we've got a little bit of activity going on right now. So it's, it's going well. Got most of our wall framing done, as you can see on the front. We're framing in the front portion of the walls on these dormers that we have going up. And we're starting to lay our roof trusses. Downstairs, we have our trades going in. Uh, we got our mechanicals, electricians, and plumbers all going in at the same time. And uh, we got our first floor window set. So that's where we are right now, still on schedule. Well, last night we, uh, we, we got thrown our biggest curveball to the build so far. Uh, some uh, heavier rain than what we expected came in and probably uh, hit us for about 
I'll probably throw it about four or five hours. Uh, really made it difficult for the framers to get their things done. Uh, we were concerned about safety, which allowed us to slow things down a little bit. Uh, our framers ran out of gas, um, and we ended up not getting the whole house sheeted in. We're getting it finished now, but because we had a lot of stuff coordinated just right, and a lot of people that worked hard all through the night, we have things back to where they're, they're, they're back buttoned up. We're hanging drywall on the inside. In fact, right now we're finishing drywall on the inside. We're stoning on the outside of the house, getting utilities put in together. We're just about right back where we want them to be. Uh, took a little work, but we got a great team, and we're looking forward to building this great house for the Riggins family. This has been an awesome experience, and uh, I can't wait until we turn the house over to the great family. We need to bring them around the window and come to the top. And they'll make the hooker. All we want to do is strap them and leave the tail hanging. Okay. We're done. Doing pretty well on the inside. We got all our drywallers in there, hanging drywall. We got some of them already mudding. What you see right here with this truck is I got our flooring guys taking the Duroc. They're laying all the uh, bathrooms that have floor tile. So we're getting ready to put that in. We're going to set the front door. We're wrapping up the uh, finishing the framing up on the gables in the front of the house. And we'll finish the roofing once it gets all dried in and we'll get our final approvals on those front two bedrooms so we can go ahead and hang our drywall and get it, uh, move all the trim uh, later this evening to start painting. So. And on the exterior of the house, we got off so you can see where the stone's going up on the three sides. So. Any more plaster work in here? Oh, sure. Well, we can't put board in As you can see, I've got uh, guys working on the exterior, putting the primer coat on the windows. Uh, at this point, the roof was done. It was done a day ago. They're uh, going to be uh, currently uh, hoping to spray the building today, get the totally exterior of the building done. Uh, on the front side, we've got the canopy has been removed, and that's going to be put back on tomorrow. Landscapers coming in tomorrow, which is right on schedule. Uh, on the inside, we've got guys putting up blinds, the motorized blinds, doing the uh, the uh, electrical work as far as lighting and so forth. Uh, all the painting has been done. We're right on schedule with that. Carpeting's coming in about 6 p.m. this evening, right on schedule. And a little twist, we, we decided to, uh, I think we're gonna end up pull the carpet back on the stage with some beautiful hardwoods up underneath it. So we're looking at that, actually gonna sand that down and refinish it to really add just a nice spice to the stage. So everything is going uh, uh, as, as according to the schedule. I couldn't ask for uh, any, anything better. We're a little bit behind schedule, but we're making it up inside with the good weather we have today. We're doing the stone work now, completing it, completing the roof as you can see, completing the boxing. We're in the sheetrock stage on the inside. All the inspections have been passed. Should be doing the interior trim in the next hour or two, and then we'll be able to start doing cabinets, start painting. So getting ahead of the game here in the last couple hours, we're catching back up due to the weather we had last night. Just need three bundles of two square shingle and two boxes of wrist head. We're not even supposed to start our first coat of paint until 5:30, and they're in there getting ready to prep it right now. So we're going to be right we're right back on schedule from our original one. The biggest challenge right now <clears throat> is to uh, we're really getting into a lot of the detail work on the inside. Uh, a lot of detail colors, tile work. Um, we've got a, little, a lot of real strong and talented mechanics are going to be coming in and doing the work for us. So we've, we've got the house cleaned out, allowed them the proper amount of time. This is not a time to rush. Rushing now could cause substandard work, and we're not we're not prepared to do that to this family. I, I, I can't thank you guys enough. I, I mean, uh, normally, you know, the designers we, we get a room to work on the house. Um, I got a whole community center, and uh, uh, the Charlotte branch uh, has been phenomenal with that. And uh, all the volunteers, I mean, I mean, this isn't the greatest in neighborhoods, but, um, you know, and these kids haven't been dealt the greatest of cards, but they're playing them the best way they can. And if by fixing up that community center, we, put, we, we bring back that, that, that school spirit and turn that into community spirit, well, then anything's possible. And these kids, man, they could be the next Michael Jordan, the next Martin Luther King, you never know. But, you know, maybe if we hadn't done that, that never would have happened. But, uh, you know, and it just makes for a, a better community and a better world.
then can we get the so she doesn't like, then all she has to do is um, all Nancy then has to do is paint the arch, and then the kids and I will we'll get H O P E I S C L. You know. I've never seen as many people get together, standing in line, shovels, and brooms, and picking up material and donating uh, material as I have in this town. I mean, this town has been wonderful to us and this family and this project. I could not ask for anything better to happen. Um, the guys fell behind with framers. The community came to their aid, and they were able to pick back up the pace and meet the schedule. And uh, we really feel good about what's happening. These guys have done a fabulous job. This home is fabulous. From looking at that video and then going into this home, these people will be, um, they, they won't even know what to say. As you can see behind me, We've got everything falling into place. Now we're into the fine tuning stages. Last night we had almost 50 trim carpenters on the inside. We set our cabinets, we did our interior trim. We've got our painting done. We've got great volunteers going in, getting everything cleaned up. We're completing the stone on the back. Finished a little bit on top on the roof. We're getting ready to pour a retaining wall uh, over off to my right hand side here. Once all that comes down, the scaffolding will come down. We'll start doing our driveways, our final grades. We are going to get done on time. We're actually probably about 45 minutes to an hour ahead of schedule. So we all pulled it together after our rainy night and we're in great shape. We need volunteers for lighting. They're, they're yelling, get the lighting in. Um, up here at the community center, we've been working through the night. We've got the landscapers out here now. Trying to get the exterior finished up so you can finish the painting. Um, interior is almost done. Obviously, I've lost my voice from the week. That's been going on a little hard to hear. <laughs> but we've got the letters going up. I don't know if you can pan up here and look at the side of the building. We've got the letters going up. Hope Elementary Charter. <clears throat> He's almost done with those now. That's the last thing we've got to do. I'm going to change the light fixtures out and do a little paint touch up. Put the sod down. The exterior is done. Um, we got the new awning put up this morning. We got the planter boxes down here that were built. So we've been doing a lot of work. I hope we get done by tomorrow afternoon. We've got the kids coming back in here tomorrow about 3.30 for a pizza party. So we're under the gun to get it done. So we're doing the best we can. We got here about three tomorrow. We're going to a pizza party for the kids in the auditorium. Uh, production is going to be in here filming. Okay. Okay. And if we're going to clean the inside, we want all that done tonight outside. So when they come in here tomorrow, we're not tracking all the mud and stuff outside back in here Listen again. Listen for nothing. Flying along here, and I wanted to give a special, special thanks to Kurt Willis and the City of Raleigh Building Inspection Department. These guys have been awesome. They've been with us 24 hours a day. They've been there. They've worked right arm in arm, not only to make sure it was done right, because that was the number one priority, but to make sure they were also able to service us and help us service the Riggins family. I want to thank you. You thank guys you, are Don. awesome. We're wrapping up the uh, painting from the rain the other day. Kind of got us behind. We should be finished in a couple hours. Uh, finished up. Landscaping is going in now. Should be done in about two hours. We got the lettering on the building. Got the canopy up. Should have the exterior totally 100% wrapped up by about six this evening. It is absolutely beautiful. On the inside, on the auditorium, we've got all the, the uh, painting and stuff done. We're actually refinishing the stage something we didn't know we were gonna do. We pulled the carpet back and saw some beautiful wood up underneath it. So we're refinishing the stage right now. Uh, we got some uh, artists in there, gonna be doing some painting on the wall, trying to get thing, everything ready for three o'clock tomorrow. I understand the extreme folks are gonna be coming in and doing something for the kids here at, at three. So I've got, a, I've got a load of cleaners coming in. So a lot of stuff happening, uh, but by three o'clock tomorrow, obviously ahead of schedule, we're gonna be completely done. We're really excited about it. Work a couple hours, sleep a couple hours, work a couple hours, <laughs> that type of thing. You know, earlier today I said we had it nailed, and just like you would never expect, a couple more bumps in the road came today. First thing that happened is our stonemasons ran out of gas, and unfortunately, we thought we were going to have an issue, but we have masons that have come from all parts of Raleigh to jump in and make this thing happen for the, Rig for the Riggins family. Second thing we had around the side of the house, by accident, a nail had gone into a wire, shut everything down, and it was a blessing that the Masons did run out of gas because it wasn't covered with stone. It allowed us to fix it and continue on. So we're still on schedule. The inside of the home is looking great. Masons will be done here in a few hours. 
Once they're done, we'll be coming out here and forming all this up, getting it ready to pour concrete, and then we'll do the landscaping. We just put a big tree in a little while ago. It's all falling into shape. The house looks great, and we're gonna be ready to turn this home over to the family, just as planned. We're gonna set that generator right in here. First of all, gang, I would like to say sorry for not being really a big part of this makeover. I take great pride in every single show building my own stuff for the show. Unfortunately, I nearly cut my hand off on the last show, which is why I'm just walking around looking like I'm doing things. But I just want to say, without you people, and you know who you all are, without you people being here, there's no way Ty Pennington and four dashingly good-looking designers could build a house in seven days. Forget seven days, 106 hours. I say it on the show, I say it to news people, you people are worth your weight in gold. Not only the contractors, but all of the volunteers. I'm very happy that they're gonna give you a copy of all of this so you guys can see the lives you've affected. You'll see it on the show, you'll see it hopefully on this camera when they film, when, you, when they move the bus in a few days. You're a big part of something that's even bigger and we can't do it without each and every one of you. And I know that you volunteer all your time. So I'm gonna try and raise my left arm. Thank you very much for being here and thanks for making us all feel welcome. The next time we come back, if you could probably just turn the sun up a little bit, that would be lovely. Thanks for helping out. And in the words of my grandmother, if you can't be good, be careful. Don't pay much attention to that because she was actually hit by a bus. Just be lucky and thanks a lot. We can see the finish line. It's right out of heaven, so it's an arm length out. As you can see over my shoulder, the house is looking awesome. The landscapers worked all night, got everything set. The concrete's all poured. The great lights going up the driveway. Inside, the carpet's done. We're doing some final touch -outs. So it, it's just a matter of time now until we turn the keys over. We're excited. Everyone pulled together. We worked hard. I mean, this was, this was when everyone got really tired. We all jumped up together. We were said, we're gonna make this happen. We all grabbed brooms. We swept it out. Carpet guys were in there working together. The painters were helping the carpet guys. It was a beautiful thing. My job's been to coordinate all of the volunteers, uh, send in help whenever any of the builders or the uh, Extreme Makeover team needed uh, volunteers to help. We've staffed five tents. We've manned check-in and processed everybody coming through, we make sure they have the proper credentials. Uh, we take care of the VIP tent, making sure we have snacks in there, it stays nice and neat and tidy so that all of our guests are welcome. But most importantly, we've um, managed a worker appreciation tent because we know that these guys are the ones that are doing all the work and we want them to I know how much we care for them. So we've set up some food and snacks and goodies in there, Ben and Jerry's, even brought in a whole case of ice cream and served soft serve ice cream to uh, these guys for their appreciation. We've had chiropractors and massage therapists in there to uh, help them relax a little bit after 18 hours of working on the job. And then we've helped out with some of the catering uh, ABC's providing breakfast and lunch, and then my group's taking care of a 6 o'clock dinner and a 10 o'clock dinner. So we've had some wonderful restaurants donate uh, the meals for that, and then the volunteers have helped serve and clean up. So our role here is really to support the builders. You know, everybody was here last night till working hard to about 5 o'clock in the morning. We all went into uh, the VIP tent and uh, fell asleep on the sofa for about 45 minutes, got back up and uh, went after it again. But we're getting very close, the house is, with the house, we have the cleaners in the house and they're knocking it out and you can finally see, you know, it's looking like a real home in there. And um, it feels good. The uh, decorators getting ready to get in there, start hanging some TVs, plasmas on the wall and the furniture should be scheduled this afternoon about four o'clock. Uh, it's, it's a great accomplishment and we're all feel a sense of relief that it's over and we, we made it on time. The community center turned out better than any of us could have expected. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful in there. I went, the first time I walked in there to what's in there now, it came and I think it's the same place. Uh, we basically took this bus, which was a uh, an old Wake County school bus, and uh, refurbished it, repainted it, cleaned it up for them, and uh, made a little made it a little nicer for the for the school and the driver and the students. Hopefully, we had taken the bus and uh, completely repainted it in a base coat, clear coat paint. Uh, Revinyl lettered it all over, uh, reupholstered the driver's seat for them, uh, and like I say, completely changed the whole paint scheme on it.
to the school colors. Nice. Kind of shows where we started. That was the original seat. Check this out. That's where it yeah. started. Started yeah. from there. Started from there and came on down. Come down. Oh, that is awesome. So you had to put that right in the window. So well, hang on. I'm going to get that to Melissa and see if she wants to do with that. Yeah. But I mean, just for until they film or whatever. All right, guys. This is it. The hardest working team in home building. Give them a hand, everybody. Right here. These two. I got to tell you, it's, it's getting ready to get this thing done. I'm proud of the entire team. Tom Quack Bush here. This is his lovely wife. we got the heroes all around us. We're ready to turn this thing on over so that the Riggins can enjoy the greatest Christmas they've ever had in their lives. So let's get it done. Let's get back to work. Get this thing done. We got to work. <laughs> Yeah. No big drama. No. Other than the rain, it. you know, no, but you know, yeah. rain didn't rain didn't hinder we us at all. Drama. We just did a good job covering it up. <laughs> <laughs> and we are getting ready to turn the keys over the uh, design folks, so they can get in there and start doing their thing, putting the furniture in, and getting the house ready to give to the Riggins tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock. So it's all our schedule was two, and we got 50, well, 42 minutes left. Well, it's 3.10, day six, Wednesday, and the house is done. We did what we said we were going to do. The team, of, the team of Home Life Community, their subcontractors, and all the folks that have made this miracle happen have done it and built the Riggins home, the dream home that they, they deserve. And the next exciting moment of this whole operation is tomorrow, we're going to have an opportunity to see the faces of those kids when they see their new home, their new rooms, and where they're going to spend a great deal of their lives. And I feel great. My heart and my thanks go out to the team of Home Life Communities and all the folks that gave their heart, their soul, fought through the weather, fought through the, the, the cold, fought through times when people were so tired that they couldn't move anymore. We went through all those obstacles and we got the home down on time so that we could move the furniture in to get ready for the great Riggins family. And uh, I'm very proud of everybody. Thanks. You're having the best time in Raleigh, North Carolina. And this build has been so easy and so stress-free and everyone's motivated and I haven't heard anyone complain and it's just running like clockwork. And we're ahead of schedule and it's not raining. And so I think that it's just going to be so huge for this family and I know that a lot of people are working really hard and taking time out from their own families and I know that the Riggins family is really going to appreciate it and you're all doing it for all the right reasons and we appreciate it and thank you for being a part of this. Bye! An incredible rush for emotion. Just to see that family when that bus was moved was was a sight I'll never forget in my life. It was uh, I had tears rolling down my face. Just just total joy. She just was just totally blown away with it. I have never experienced anything like it before. Probably never again. It was just incredible. <laughs> yes, we did. We did. <laughs> we did. It feels incredible. wonderful. Great. That it was. Is, there's no go better ahead, feeling in the world. Yeah. Than what we just did right there. Mm, this is what it's all about. Absolutely what it's all about is bringing this family home and giving them this fantastic home. Yeah, you know, for us the whole time it was all about what just happened here. It was about the family. You know, this is a great TV show. A lot of people watch and, and, and view the TV show, but for us, from the moment we learned and we found out about the Riggins family, for us it was all about the family. And uh, yes, we spent some long hours and we spent some time, but there was not one time, not one time we ever lost focus of what had to happen here. And this was what it's all about. We have just taken members of the community that, that desperately needed our help. And we pulled together as a team, along with our vendors, the city of Raleigh, the building inspectors, the fire department, everybody, all the public utilities, and we made it happen. 
This is something not only for home life communities to be proud of, but for the city of Raleigh, North Carolina. Absolutely. Because what we did was we took a family who was needing and deserving, and we gave them an opportunity to live the life that they deserve. Not only here, but over in that great community center. I am proud to say that I'm the leader of the Raleigh North with Raleigh of home life communities, and I am just proud to have people like Tom and Linda and Jim and Carl and the whole group of them around here that just made us make this beautiful miracle happen. It's quite an emotional experience for all of us to go through, and the team did an awesome job. Every one of our employees, volunteers, the vendors, suppliers, they all stepped up, and it was just a tremendous experience for all of us to go through. Uh, just one of the best, best things I've, I've been a part of. Uh, in, in my professional career and uh, helping this team rally around and, and do what we did to provide this dream home for the Riggins family. Oh, uh, we build homes all the time, but we don't build it that quickly and staying up on, you know, all hours of the night doing it. So, you know, you try and keep your attitude in check with everybody else and uh, um, try to work together. I think everybody worked together real well. No one had an attitude, no one held any position over anyone else's head. We all chipped in, did it together. The president of the company was sweeping the back porch, you know, so there were a lot of, a lot, it, we worked real well together. Well, I know there's a sigh of relief, but the excitement's still there and the accomplishment with the guys, they, they can't believe that they have succeeded. And with the help of the volunteers again, and uh, the help of uh, and support from uh, Extreme Makeover, uh, it was, we were on the down home stretch and it, it, it just feels wonderful. And then to see this family, it's so heartwarming, but it's awesome. Yep, it felt good. This is completed. Big job, great job. I got like a yeah. frog in my throat, just right here. You'll have a picture of this on your banner. Oh yeah, most definitely. I know awesome I will. <laughs> it's called my collection. That's right, yeah. exactly. It just amazes me that one little phone call did so much, so much, so much. And it just started a ball rolling that all these good people in this community and all these good people at Home Life and um, all these good trades people um, that are in this video that you'll see, that you've seen, um, you know, did great work, did good things can go home every night for the rest of their lives knowing that, you know, I made a buck sometime and in, in my life and, and sometimes I did other things, but, you know, at least once in my life, uh, I gave a great gift and in the end that gift really was a gift for me. So, um, gosh, what a great thing we've done here. And, you know, what a great thing our company has done and um, I just, I just feel blessed that we did this, so, yeah, I, I just feel wonderful, so.